This game is T and is not suitable for kids. It's lunch break, and Sunohara is looking extremely pleased while filling his mouth with food. Perhaps we should help her get the ingredients. Because food doesn't come from nothing, you know. Sunohara is so excited, he keeps shooting rice out of his mouth. You and I are having, a, are having to enjoy our meal at a minimum safe distance from him. Suddenly, the boy puts his dish down and stands up. The boy takes free 100 yen coins out of his pocket and hands them out to Sunohara. Aww, he's actually growing as a person. Good on you, Sunohara. <laughs> well, let's not go that far. I didn't expect that from him. To be honest, I thought he would give the poor kid some silly lesson again. No, 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 I agree with the first five letter, or the first five words in that sentence. Try to become an adult. <laughs> By the way, Sunohara, huh? your 300 yen generosity is good and all, but make sure you give Miyazawa back her money. She handed you a 1,000 yen bill, didn't she? Oh, is that why he was okay giving them back? <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. What? Oh, bro. Ooh, feels bad. You, come here for a sec. Money. Listen up. No matter what you do, don't ever become that kind of person. Just not. Our walk home is dyed red by the setting sun. Yu is following right after Tsunohara. And behind him, Miyazawa and I are walking side by side, watching the boys. Aww! It's quite an odd arrangement we are walking in. Are we all going the same direction? I haven't seen this background for a while. Those two? Hi. Such a tragedy. So With a big brother like that? Totally. You really think so? Hi. Miyazawa breaks into a smile as she gazes at them. The gentle light in her eyes gives me the impression she's feeling nostalgic over something. You. Hmm? Uh. Hearing the voice, Sunohara's feet come to a halt. At the same time, Yu stops too. In fact, he's taking a step back. As we walk up next to them, we realize a woman is standing before us. You. Uh oh, he's in trouble. She must be his mother. The boy's absence from school must have gotten back to her. <laughs> nope, total stranger, let's run. He nods, still hiding behind Sunohara. Ooh, the funky music. Uh-oh. Her focus switches away from you onto us. The woman narrows her eyes. She's scanning all over our uniform before stopping at Sunohara's head. <laughs> <laughs> you 
これまで遅刻もしたことがないのに突然学校サボるなんて、yeah, 何を教え込もうとしてるのか知らないけどこれ以上ユーに近づかないでください。Yeah, this is gonna look real bad to use, mom. で別に僕は何も今度何かあったら学校の方に直接言いに行かせてもらいますからね。Yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> Bombarded with the mother's accusations, Sunohara can only stand in silence. You, Anata, a one chant to a chigano. Chanto got coite, Benkioste, Matomona Ningin in Arnoyo. School's important. The way she puts it clearly indicates that none of us here are decent people to her. Yukane is, but that's it. <laughs> that's certainly not something pleasant to hear. Kairuayo. Haya Cochini Rasta. Ah. She grabs Yu's hand and forcibly pulls him away. Anna. Of course, it would be Yukane who speaks up. Miyazawa says as she takes a step forward. Nanika? Yukun wa totemo ii ko desu. Ha? Saisha wa onee san no koto o shinpai shite watashi no tokoro ni kimashita. Kyo mo gakkou o yasunde shimaimashita kedo, sore wa Yukun ni mo kangai ga atte no koto nan desu. Donna kangai ga atta to shite mo. それが間違ったことなら正すのが親の役目なのよ。I mean, yeah, that's true. ユウくんの考えは間違ったことではないと思います。学校を休むことが悪いことだとはユウくんも分かっていると思います。でもそれを承知で自分を変えようとここに来たんです。I mean, you can change yourself while still going to school. それは学校では教えてもらうことのできない勉強のようなものなんです。自分で考えて行動してもしそれが失敗だとしても得るものはあるんです大切なのはユウくんが自分で行動したということなんです教えられてきたことをただ素直にうなずくだけの人間になることがいいことだとは思いません悪いことはしました怒られてもそれは仕方がないことですでも今回のことのすべてを否定してあげないでください。お願いします。ミヤザワ bows deeply. At a loss for words, the mother can only stand, watching the girl in front of her dazedly. とにかく、もうユウには近づかないでください。Sounds like no more than a parting shot to me. But that must have been all she could manage before taking you away. ミヤザワ's eyes keep lingering on the boy's small back as it gets farther and farther away. I put my hand on her head. Tomoya san? You're amazing. Eh? I don't know anyone who could speak to someone's parent like that. Ie, sonna homete morao yona koto dewa nai des. Tada, jibun no ikken o hito ni oshitsukete dake na no kamo shiremasen kara. But you did it because you thought that was the right thing to do, no? Eh? Ah, hai. Then it's fine, isn't it? You said it yourself. Even if you fail, there's always something to be gained from that failure, right? Hi. Miyazawa must have regained some of her strength as she smiles and nods at me. Well, even if it had no effect on the mother, I'm sure it's reached you. What you wanted to say? I think it reached him. Datta, ureshi des. Ah, taku nanda yo ano baba. <laughs> oh, bother. Someone's not listening. Bruh. <sighs> My side joins in with Miyazawa's dry laughter. Money. There's really seriously nothing that can help this boy here. Miyazawa doesn't seem to notice me entering the room. She's sitting still on her chair, her eyes closed. She must have fallen asleep. As I walk past her, she comes to and opens her eyes. Ah, Tomoya-san, いらっしゃいませ. It's fine. Just stay still. I can make my own drink. She's unusually passive today. On any other day, she would make me sit down and wait for her coffee. 
Uh, do you want some too? With pleasure. I make two cups, put them on the table, and sit down facing her. You look really tired. Well, I guess it's natural to feel tired. Being suspected as the culprit for turning a kid, especially a good kid like you, into a wannabe delinquent doesn't seem like a pleasant experience. Want me to try that spell on you? Hi. The one you taught me, injecting positive whatever, the super embarrassing spell. <laughs> she takes the spell book from her pocket and she flips through the pages. Found the one you want? Yes. Come at me. I'll do whatever embarrassing thing you throw at me today. Okay. Miyazawa stands up and walks to me, tracing her hand along the table. She then pulls out the chair next to me and sits down. Now what? Like this? I do as she says. Huh? Miyazawa lowers her upper body and sets her head on my lap. Is this the infamous lap pillow? What am I supposed to do next? Bewildered at the weight and warmth pressing on my thigh, I try to ask her with a calm voice. <laughs> Aww. With that said, she closes the book. Any story at all? Hi. Then I guess I'll go with that one story anyone would go for in cases like this. Best friends for Francis. <laughs> One day, an old man and his wife went on a trip to beat the hell out of an evil, evil ogre. <laughs> this is Shrek gone wrong. I tried to shorten it, and it just kind of turned out this way. She giggles. Okay. Along the way, a monkey, a dog, a pheasant, and a Momotaro joined in their journey. What? Momotaro. Momotaro is a well-known folk tale in Japan about a young boy using kibidangos to recruit a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant to go on a trip to defeat a demon or ogre. I didn't understand half of those words. I just remembered he exists, so I kind of added him in. Totally. Okay. I forget. Oh, never mind. He was telling it, they just didn't want to put that in. And they all lived happily ever after. How wonderful, how wonderful. I look down and notice Miyazawa has fallen asleep. Aww. How do you even fall asleep to a story like that? The old man did all the work and <laughs> Momotaro's only job was to scream, Now's the time, Grandpa! <laughs> you were chuckling the whole time. You know, maybe you can add sleep laughing to the special skills on your resume. You hear me, Miyazawa? Aww, this is cute. She doesn't show any sign of waking up, even after I called her name. So, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, why would we wake her up? Also, we actually get a choice now. How interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna let her sleep. Because that would be how you get the good ending, right? Seems like it. Well, let's get the bad ending first. I like getting the bad ending first and the good ending second. Come on, Miyazawa. If you sleep like that, the spell's gonna all be in vain. I shake her shoulder. She slowly opens her eyes and she sits up. Oh, Don't worry. You only slept for a few minutes. So, how did the spell do? So that's how you fell asleep. Well, all's good then. Nah, I'm fine with that. After that, I escort the half-asleep Miyazawa to the main gate. 
Are you sure you can go home on your own? She's a strong, independent woman. I watch as she walks farther and farther away with a vaguely drunken stagger. Oh well, there shouldn't be anyone out here stupid enough to put a finger on her. In her case, the more dangerous the Dark Road is, the more allies she has. <laughs> yeah, because she's in the Yakuza, right? Daily routine, huh? The next day, I head toward the old building once again. My destination is none other than the reference room. I roughly open the door. <sighs> There's her smile again. And at the same time, it brightens up my eyes. My nose is excited by the piquant smell drifting in the room. What? That's a million dollar word. From the looks of the place, it looks like she's ready to hold a party there. Food in various colors is neatly arranged in dishes laid all over the tables. What do we have here? For what? We got a cute girl to sleep on our lap. That's the dream. She bows down deeply. Huh? No, you didn't. Ah, you sleeping on my lap? I didn't really mind, so raise your head. Well, if I have to say it out loud, I was happy, as any man would be. <laughs> yes. Well, sure. And also, I don't like being bowed to. Make sure that's the last time you do it. Hi. The smiles return to her face. I have a feeling that if I ever ask, have to have a fight with her, it wouldn't last ten seconds. Actually, even the idea of having a fight with her seems improbable enough. <laughs> we literally just actually told her the story of Shrek. This feast sure is quite something. So on top of having had her sleep on my lap, now I'm getting to eat all this home-cooked food? At least 99 other guys would join in a fight to the death to take my place. Well, in her case, it's very likely she'd just stop them and invite everyone to join in. In the end, it's just like her to treat everyone equally. If it hadn't been me but Sunohara who came here yesterday, it would have been him here enjoying this feast today. I'll bet plenty of other guys before me have misunderstood her intentions. Quite a sinful woman, isn't she? I'm going to warn you on one thing. I speak as I sit on a chair, stuffing myself with marvelous food. Hi. I don't think you should sleep so carelessly in front of guys. <laughs> Figured as much. Why? Love. Doesn't seem to be the reason here. Let's just file that under personal virtue for now. <laughs> yep. Eh? Yeah, but you weren't around then. Busy, huh? Knowing you, it was the pachinko shop or something like that, right? So I was right? <laughs> What's that? What? <laughs> that is probably the weirdest laugh I've ever heard. Well, even grade schoolers know about that. Is that so? Alright, sure. <laughs> what are you going to do about lunch? <laughs> Bread? <laughs> You're just not eating it the right way. <laughs> I think it's even lamer to carry the food tray around. So you don't care what other people think? Uh. 
As always, Miyazawa is reading books alone. Yo! That's gross! <laughs> Ooh, is it the fillet of fish sandwich? Oh, well, that's surprisingly nice of you. Were you an apprentice in a circus somewhere? Judging from the way he was carrying two trays full of food while walking around, I would say he has the potential at least. <laughs> Sunohara, the circus performer. <laughs> Your companion. I turned to look at the wall. <laughs> Excellent. Are you ready to bathe in boiling water today, Sunohara? <laughs> How are you going to make anyone laugh without doing some reckless, silly tricks? Rattle. Suddenly, the familiar sound of someone opening the window puts me on alert. A man wearing a muddy uniform climbs over the window frame and falls rolling into the room. Yukine. Bro, Yukine wa... <laughs> oh boy. Still facing the floor, the man strains his voice to call off to her. Hi. <laughs> I love how she's just like, oh yeah, this happens. <laughs> Miyazawa rushes to his side and helps him up. <laughs> Is this the same guy? <laughs> Is he part of the Yakuza? Oh no! Oh jeez! What you got here? Yukine. This guy isn't like dying right now, is he? Hi. Thunk. Did he just die? <laughs> what the heck? I guess so. What the heck? I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. I sure hope so. Ding dong! The school bell is ringing. Sounds like a doorbell, though. What the heck? What? <laughs> this just went from like a 1 to an 11 in about 10 seconds. It's like, oh, we're having a nice, friendly, like, casual, wholesome lunch with Yugane. Then, bam, guy crawls through the window, dies. <laughs> and we're just like, well, that happened. I guess so. What? Yeah, take my share as well. <laughs> Shut up! Kick. Eating my kick, Sunohara drops down on the floor. He raises his face to look at me. What? And the best. I feel the same way, Sunohara. Thunk. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We've got a casualty on this side as well. She's just like, oh yeah, this happens sometimes. Hmm? I don't mind, but is he okay? Oh, I thought he did. I thought he did. <laughs> Come on, that was way too misleading. Can we bring him to the infirmary? I see. 
<laughs> she's just like, oh yeah, whatever. This this sometimes happens, you know? What's she gonna do? <laughs> I carry the man to the infirmary and then return to Miyazawa, who's waiting in the corridor. Don't you ever get tired of all the troubles they bring? Hi. Hanging around with these people. Well, I already know you won't listen no matter what I say. But keep in mind that, with your appearance and personality, you could lead a much easier life. I can't help feeling like you keep bringing these troubles on yourself. Some people don't want just the normal good life. She says as she puts a hand on her chest. I see. I forgot. The class already started ages ago. I guess so. Just as the teacher steps down from the podium and leaves the classroom, Sinohara appears like a ghost before me. Sorry, I totally forgot about you. <laughs> of Yep, how kind of her. It took her a whole hour, though. Fifth period just ended. That means she forgot about you for like, what, one hour? <laughs> I'm so jealous of how you always manage to force yourself to think po positively. People like you are called clowns, you know. He suddenly changes his tone. What's that? <laughs> he must be referring to the word clown. So, what's going to happen to me now? Uh -oh. Honk, honk! <laughs> For this ridiculously pathetic reason, you're okay with that. Crash! A loud noise echoes through the classroom as a table falls down to the floor. The girls start to scream. Another table is blown away. It's moving fast toward me. Bane, crash, Babane! Failing to make me its shock absorber, the table crashes into others of its kind, raising the noise level in the classroom even further. How the hell did he snap over something so silly? What kind of a joke is this? He's now throwing a chair at me. Naturally, I evade to the side. Thanks to that, the chair seems to have hit someone else. The poor victim dramatically drops dead on the floor. The atmosphere in the classroom is frozen. So how many people are going to die in this episode? How dare you say something like that! The door to the classroom slides open with a bang. Predictably unable to ignore all the noises from the turmoil, a teacher flies into the classroom. <laughs> I didn't do Okay, I called him a clown, that's it. What? Me? So many dead people in this visual novel. I did not expect that. The sun has completely set, leaving only darkness outside the window. Leaning my back against the bed, I'm now sitting on the floor facing Sunohara, who's kneeling with his back straight. Oh. Hey, idiot. Hi. It's all thanks to you that we have three whole days to sit around now. Hi. Yup. After the incident, we were taken to the teacher's room, where a three-day suspension was bestowed upon us. Can I hit you once with full power? With your cassette player. Jeez. 
I let out a sigh and I look up at the ceiling. Well, whatever. <laughs> well, everyone has something they don't want to be called. Huh? Are you kidding me? Punch! Slap! Poik! I end the combo with my kung fu finger. Okay, can I kick you now? How is the rugby club not like, Stop! Obviously. Sunohara bows so deeply, his forehead is rubbing on the floor. <sighs> I'm going home. Being suspended means you're under house arrest, remember? Well, it's not like they would know even if I go out, but let's just say I'll be a model student for at least one day. I don't think schools have that power, right? Like, they can't be like, you're under house arrest, you're not allowed to leave your house for three days. I think it's just like, you can't come to school for three days. In your case, it's called, you reap what you sow. Okay, I'm, I'm just wondering. So, we're en route to get the Yukine bad ending right now because we didn't let her sleep in our lap. It's literally the bad ending just because by Sunara freaking out by being called a clown. And, like, that just doesn't happen in the good ending. That reminds me, being suspended also means that I can't execute my daily routine of going to the reference room. Hi, Lucia. Welcome. <笑>どうしたのかな?と心にぽっかりと穴が開いたような喪失感を覚える。いや、あのフィンタスがハプンスのハラ。でもて、その寂しさの意味を知るんだ。ああ、いつの間にか私、角原さんなしじゃ一人
I wish everything could be different when I wake up next. But I know. Nothing new will ever happen. Nothing will ever change. And neither will the place I'm moving toward. Well, you know what? You could just change who you are. The world is covered in white. Snow. Yes, it's snow. Wait, we've already... So then it just plays the beginning scene again? Oh, wow. That was, I don't think that was even the you can a bad ending. I think that was literally just no ending. <laughs> that might be like the you get lost ending. Which, oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> 